New tonight, a family upset after they say Pearland ISD employees forced their son to shave his facial hair, which is against their religion. But the school district says that's not what happened at all. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes joining us live now from Dawson High School in Pearland with the dress code dispute. Sion? And Dominique, the teen and his family say that his religious rights have been violated. The district disagrees and says this all could have been solved months ago. Like they've been trying to get me to shave. Paul Miller III says for the last two months, administrators at Dawson High School have told him his mustache is against dress code. But the 16-year-old says he's not making a fashion statement. He's making a religious one. I told the school plenty of times I can't shave. I'm Messianic Jew. It's part of my religion. But apparently they don't respect that, and that's horrible. And it's part of uh, Samuel 1014. It's your right. Pearland ISD says they told Paul to get a note from his parents for a religious exemption, but the district says they never received a letter. Then he asked for a letter. I sent a letter and they refused it. Things came to a head last Thursday when Paul says he tried to get an exemption from final exams, but was told he had to comply with the dress code first. She told me if I shave, I get my exemption. Paul says he went to the nurse's office. I kept telling her, like, I was told to shave, but I don't really want to do it. And then I was trying to, like, work something out with her, and then apparently I couldn't, and then it just got to that point where she had to shave me herself. In a statement to Channel 2 News, the district said, quote, it is absolutely false that the school nurse shaved the student. The student shaved himself by his own choosing. They're calling you a liar. Well, I'm calling them liars, too. Racism. It, it, he's experiencing racism, and it has to come to an end. That is why we're here today, because of the violation of the civil rights of this African-American student, and we were seeing a real pattern here. Now, the family says they are weighing their legal options. In the meantime, they say they'd like an apology from the school and the district, and they would like for all staff district-wide to receive training on religious rights. Live in Pearland, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Sion, thank you.